Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take another look at how we can use the zero product property to help us solve a quadratic equation so that we can determine where those x-intercepts are. So let's go ahead and jump right into a problem where we have y equals 2x squared plus 11x minus 21. And the question is, what are the x-intercepts for that parabola? Well, to do that, we first wanna factor that quadratic using the box and diamond method. Once I factor that quadratic, then I can use the zero product property to help us determine where those x-intercepts are. So let's jump right into this problem and start factoring it using the box and diamond method. I'm gonna need to go ahead and draw out a generic rectangle and a diamond problem right next to it so that I can solve and factor this quadratic. Well, when we factor a quadratic using the box and diamond method, I know that 2x squared is gonna go in the bottom left corner and that the constant, negative 21, goes in the top right corner. Now I know to turn that into the top part of my diamond problem, I'm gonna need to multiply those two terms. So I'm gonna multiply 2x squared times negative 21. That's gonna create for us negative 42x squared in the top of my diamond problem. And I know that the two terms that I'm trying to find are gonna also need to add to 11x. So now I need to think about what two factors of 42, of negative 42, are going to also add to positive 11. So as you think through some of the factors for 42, two factors that jump out to me that might end up being an equaling 11 when you add them is going to be 14x and 3x, because I know that 14x times 3x will give me 42x squared, and it looks like 14x and 3x are about 11x's apart. Now, because we have negative 42x squared, that means one of these two factors needs to be a negative. And since I'm trying to create 11x when I add them, I know that 14x minus 3x is going to give me 11x's. And when I multiply those two terms, I will end up with negative 42x squared. Those are the two parts that I wanna now add into my generic rectangle so that we can solve this and factor it. So I'm gonna throw those in, negative 3x, 14x, and now I wanna to start to figure out what are the sides of that generic rectangle. Well, in order to make 2x squared, I know that I'm going to need 2x and x. And thinking about what multiplies to x to make negative 3x, I think I'm gonna put a negative three there. And 2x times something is gonna give me 14x. Well, 2x times positive seven will give me 14x. And again, if you're kinda not sure if those two numbers are correct, double check, negative three times seven does give us negative 21. So I now know that I have the right dimensions for that generic rectangle, and I can write my equation now in factored form. My equation is y equals x plus seven times the quantity two x minus three. I have successfully factored that quadratic, and I now have it in factored form, which means then I can use this factored form x plus seven and two x minus three with the zero product property to figure out where those two x intercepts are. Now remember, I'm not gonna make this equal to y anymore. I'm not gonna make that equal to y because the zero product property says that if I can put this equal to zero to find out where my x intercepts are, I then know that one of those two terms there are going to equal zero. They're gonna equal zero because if those two terms are multiplying and equaling zero, then one of those two numbers has to be zero. So now what I can do now is I can separate, using the zero product property, those two factors into two different equations where they're both equal to zero, and I can solve to find out where my x-intercepts are. Now I'll go ahead and solve the one on the left. That won't require too much work, just subtracting seven on both sides I end up with x equaling negative seven, my first x-intercept. Finally, I need to do this one on the right. It's gonna require two steps here. 
I'll first need to add three on both sides. By adding three on both sides, those three zero out. I'm left with two X equaling a positive three. I want X by itself. It has a coefficient of a two. So I'll divide both sides by two to cancel out that two on the right side. And I end up with X equals three divided by two. I could leave that as three over two, or if I remember the decimal, I do know that that equals 1.5. So there we go. Those are the two X intercepts for our equation, Y equals two X squared plus 11 X minus 21. We solve that by first factoring using the box and diamond method. We want that equation turned into factored form because once it's in factored form, I can use the zero product property to determine my two X intercepts. It's that math magician. And I'll see you on the next video.